Hey, welcome to Along the Forest Apps Road. I'm Tim Ard. Thanks for dropping by. I want to share with you a few things uh, from a few years ago today on this episode. Uh, it has to do when Laura and I moved to Rome. It's been about uh, 10, 11, 12 years ago now, I think. When we came to Rome, we uh, really enjoyed looking into this area and checking things out. Well, the property that we purchased is very close to the uh, Russell Airport here in Rome. And so we watched several of the planes flying around. Well, in my past, you know, I did a lot of travel. I, uh, I had close to a million miles on Delta and about a million, almost a million miles on Eastern when they went out. I really uh, enjoyed, you know, talking to people about airplanes and aircrafts and stuff. And always thought that I'd like to uh, learn how to fly one. Well, when we moved to Rome, I, I told Laura, I said, you know, if, if, we were, if we were on a lake, we'd definitely want a boat. And I said, um, but uh, we're close to an airport. Uh, I wonder if I can go over and take a look and see what they have available and, um, and some flight instructions over there. So I, I made a phone call and uh, I talked to a gentleman. His name was uh, Earl Tillman. I ended up going over and he said, come on over, I'll, I'll give you a little test ride and we'll, we'll take a look and see what you think. So he had uh, Tillman Aviation University and he had uh, retired from the insurance business and started a, a flight school there at Russell Airport. So I, um, I went over and met with him and, and we jumped in a, a little Cessna 150 that he had and more or less we went up and flew around and we got to talking about uh, you know what I did and and what his background was and so we uh, ended up he said you know I've, I've got some little bit of chainsaw work I need done over at my place if you're if you're interested in uh, taking a look and see what you could do with that we might uh, we might be able to trade out a little bit of flight time and so uh, that's what I did I went over and had looked and you know, I, I guess uh, we worked out some kind of deal and I started doing some flying. Well, Mr. Tillman, he, uh, he's helped me through. I purchased and sold about six aircraft and he had the 150 and then a, a Cessna 182. And so we, we did a lot of flying around, going to different uh, meetings and his home place and, and stuff like that and, and building up my time and hours and ended up he's uh, helped me to with all those planes but he also helped me through my my pilot's license as well as uh, getting my instrument rating and i've done about 700 hours i guess until last year uh, when things kind of slowed down I, I i sold my plane what i want to tell you about is a little story that started to tie into the uh, flight and training and and looking at uh, you know kind of a correlation between instruction on an aircraft and instruction on a chainsaw and it's quite interesting I had uh, at that time probably about 80 some odd hours uh, trying to get ready for my solo and my test for the exam for my pilot's license and we were uh, doing several landings and takeoffs in the Cessna 150. And we had gone around several times, and, and I had been doing pretty good on my landings and stuff. And I don't, for some reason that day, it just, just wasn't working. I mean, it, it was a situation to where I, I ended up uh, kind of bouncing in a couple times and told Mr. Tillman, I said, you know, what, what's the deal here? Is it a wind or, or, or what's the thing? He's, he said, uh, you remember that? that first or second day that we flew and I said yes sir yes sir. he said you remember I gave you a a piece of paper and it had uh, the um, the flight pattern on it coming into the airport here and you got the downwind side and then you got the base leg and and then you got upwind and and uh, line up the landing and I said yeah I've got it got it right here in my in my book and he said, take it out a minute, let's, let's take a look at it. We'll make a, a little jaunt over towards the Alabama line and, and we'll come back and we'll, we'll try it again. But let's, let's look at what that piece of paper said. And basically, uh, you know, it said on the downwind side, you start uh, slowing down and, and 
you know, get about 80 knots, something like that. And then once you make the, the base turn, then you basically slow down to about 60. And I don't remember what the exact numbers were on that piece of paper, but the basis there was is that uh, you had certain speeds that you, you had to uh, maintain for the aircraft to actually uh, descend correctly and smoothly and keep the power and the speed you know under control we went back over to the pattern and we made the announcements and started uh, downwind and then uh, turned on the base and and started to line up and i had the the speeds just right on right on target and it just greased right into the to the runway i mean it was just a perfect landing and uh, so we took back off again and went back up and uh, Mr. Tillman said, yeah, he said, you know, what you have taught me about, about chainsaws is, is that the basics are that you've got to have that plan, you know, the, the hazards, the leans, the escape route planned, how much hinge to leave to be able to control, and then what type of uh, uh, back cut that you're going to make. And that's kind of like the approach, isn't it? And, and it kind of struck me now he's he's changed from a flight instructor to a chainsaw operator instructor and he's uh, pretty amazing at it but I've been uh, so blessed to be uh, friends of the Tillman family and you know, him and his wife Carolyn and and uh, you know it's it's just uh, amazing the uh, all the opportunities that they open for us here around uh, Rome and Floyd County He's so well known and, um, and he's been quite an asset to the airport and uh, trained many, many hours. I think he's, he's right about 10,000 hours of, in small aircraft. It's been a, been a real amazing journey with Mr. Tillman sharing his training abilities with me. I appreciate him and his family and uh, look forward to getting back into playing again one day being able to uh, to get back on schedule but anyhow that's uh, what I wanted to share with you today is going back to the basics and a lot of us don't don't think about that the planning and being able to make sure that we're we're focused on what the basics are you can make those landings and those tree cuttings and the limb cuts and those kinds of things very safe very profitable and very smooth so thanks for coming along, uh, along this Forest Apps Road. Hope you picked up something there to kind of think about. We will talk to you later.